inmates, how is life behind bars? No, not these bars, but these bars. I'm Steve Abel from A Bike Thing. Today, we're not talking about motorbikes, we're talking about the Escoot electric bikes. Stay tuned. Now, as you can probably see behind me, I've got these two electric bikes. Take a look. Now, these are the latest electric bikes from Escoot. The man's one, well, my one, you put a woman on it, I don't want to get it done for any discrimination here, but my one is the EMTB electric mountain bike Nituno. This is the, the bike that has replaced the Voyager. And the, the woman's version, which is for my wife, is not the Wayfarer, that's the old version, it is the Pluno. So behind me is the Nituno and the Pluno. Now, if you remember a year ago, if you've been following me for that long, literally a year ago, just past the date, we gifted an Escoot Voyager mountain bike to our groundsman. It was his 60th birthday. If you have not seen that video, please look at the link above. It was a great video because I basically took delivery of the Escoot electric bike, I tested it out, did a review for it, and then at the end of the video, you'll see us gifting it to Dave, our groundsman, because you know, we're not getting any younger, although he's very fit for a 60 year old chap. I know he's gonna be watching this, so I don't wanna put my foot in it. He's a very fit chap. He's actually probably fitter than me. He is fitter than me. Cycling every day to work. He does a five to six mile round trip every day. So would it not be fair to say that if that Scoot Voyager is still going today, bearing in mind he rides it every day, every weekday to work here at our property. And he'll ride that in the rain, snow, sun, every day, five to six mile round trip. It's still going strong. He's just done over the thousand mile marker on it and it's still going strong. So that itself is testimony that this is a fantastic bike that you can rely on. Certainly got his money's worth, although he didn't pay for it. <laughs> so with that in mind, looking back at that video, I actually said on the video that I was threatening to go and buy another two for my wife and myself and maybe an e even another one for other members of the family that wanted one. But you know how things are, life gets in the way and we never got around to doing that. However, earlier this year, COVID permitted us to go on holiday and my wife and I decided to do a road trip to California. It was a fantastic road trip, wonderful holiday in the car. One of our stops was in Santa Barbara. So those of you watching this who know Santa Barbara, you'll know what I'm talking about. We get to Santa Barbara and we're walking along the promenade and I'm seeing electric bikes stood up at the side of the walkway, which is obviously owned by the state or Santa Barbara County, whatever. And you literally walk up to it, swipe your credit card, pull out the bike, and then you can dock it anywhere else in Santa Barbara where there's a docking station uh, when you've finished using it and then you get charged. So my wife and I, we use these. She was very skeptical about it because she's not very good on the push bike anyway. She was like, no, no, I'm thinking, come on, it'd be fun. We can get to see more of Santa Barbara this way as well. And we can get a little, a little bit of exercise in which we're not getting enough of. We took these bikes out and as you can see from the video footage, we had a fantastic blast. I remember sitting there that evening, my wife was a little bit sore to be fair because obviously she's not used to going on the bike, but she said that was some of the best fun she's had in a long time. Because exercise, it's great for us. It's perfect, it's what we all need. Exercise is the answer, it really is. If you're feeling low, feeling down or anything like that, not saying that we were or we are, but it is such a stimulus for making yourself feel better. So that evening in the restaurant, Al Fresco in Santa Barbara, you know where I'm on about, in that street where you got all the bars that spill out onto the road, I sat there drinking my bottle of Pinot Noir and I said, when we get back, honey, we're gonna get a couple of those Escoot bikes. Look at Dave's bike, it's been going on for a year now. He's just done over a thousand miles. So they're obviously great bikes. So we got back to the England, I got in touch with Escoot, I said, can I have two, please? Yes, you can, Steve, here you are. They arrived uh, a few weeks ago, we've unboxed Box them and as you can see I got Tom here who works for us now to dismantle them and I held the camera you know why not hey you can see how easy they are to assemble a year has passed the Voyager has been upgraded with this Natuno model the benefits you get with this new model for one thing you can see straight away is that beautiful LCD screen on the top it's just a lovely upgrade it's so nice very very easy to control it's very intuitive to use so you there are no problems there setting one is your least power for assistance and setting five is your maximum assistance which is going to make it even easier to ride it doesn't take away the work from you you still have to pedal but you'll find that you can cycle nearly anywhere it doesn't matter what hill you're on you will be able to cycle absolutely fine all you need to do is adjust the gears respectively so you're in the appropriate gear for the hill and then adjust the power assistance so you're still getting a little bit of a workout but you're getting that extra bit of help 
as and when you need it. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, you're not getting a proper workout. Well, I beg to differ. First of all, you can be out for longer. So if you find yourself on a conventional push bike and half an hour absolutely kills you, well, then you can spend more time. You can go out there and you can spend three or four hours on the bike, which means you can do more, you can see more. And with this extra big battery that these bikes have got now, you can stay out there for six to seven hours, I think they claim. Now, when you click on the link down below, you'll see that these aren't cheap but they are cheap in comparison with some of the bigger brand names that are out there. I know for a fact, I know people who have got 10,000 pound electric bikes and it keeps going up as well, depending on how much stuff you want to put on them. So these are significantly cheaper, but as I just mentioned, those bike's been going for every year and it's still going strong. He's had to do nothing to it. He hasn't even put any new tires on there yet because they're not needed. But like I say, it's been used every day, not just 20 miles here or 30 miles there, put in the garage for a few weeks and bring it back out again. Daily use guys, daily use. So that for me is enough to say this bike is good. It's well built, it's good enough for the job. So I'm gonna put a little roll together at the end of this video showing my wife and I heading out into the park, doing a few rounds of this local park, showing how much enjoyment it brought to both of us that day. But later on that same day, I decided to kit up, put my crash helmet on and head off out and doing some green lanes. Now, if you are familiar with my channel, you'll see that I've got a Honda CRF 250, little dirt bike that I take out down around all the green lanes with big knobbly tires. So those green lanes I've got around here are quite tough. And I'm thinking this will be a perfect test for this mountain bike because it's gonna kill it. These green lanes around here will kill it but it managed absolutely fine. I had a few little slips and slides on it, which I get on my dirt bike as well, but <laughs> it was so much fun and I got nice and dirty. So if you're the kind of guy who likes to get filthy dirty and then just jump in the bath and you get back, this is the perfect bike for you to head out on those green aids and just have a bit of fun on it. Now, when they arrive in the box, you'll notice that the Pluno has already got front light and rear light. You can literally head out on the road on it and you have got full lights you can, you can ride at night time. The Tuno has got a front light. It has got a brake light as well, which comes in the box, but that's battery powered. I think the battery lasts for absolutely ages, but I haven't put it on mine because I never go out riding at night time, but it is there if you want that for extra visibility at the back of the seat. Because of my involvement in the aftermarket electronics, namely very powerful headlights, I'm actually very impressed with the headlights that come on these bikes. They are very, very bright. They actually cast a very good beam down the road, so they throw light down the road. So if you're wanting something so you can see further at night time, they do a pretty good job of that. But they are also very, very bright to look at, so other road users will see you, which is a really good safety aspect of this bike. Now I'm gonna stop waffling on, show you this video, but more importantly, links down below, take a look at it, it'll take you through to the website. I know a scoot are claiming that when these are in stock, and they are in stock as of today, they claim a two day delivery, which is pretty impressive. So they actually are here in the UK for shipment. But if when you go on there, they ship worldwide. I know that they've got outlets all over the world. So it doesn't matter where you are, they can get it to you. Please use my coupon code, a bike thing 60. That will give you a discount. I can't remember what the discount is the top of my head. I think it's 10%, but don't quote me on that. But use coupon code, a bike thing 60, and you will get a discount for that. So my plan is to now put these either on a trailer or on the back of a car, head up into the hills, Lake District, Peak District. If I try and find some opportunity to head up into Scotland at some point for like a long weekend with the wife, I'm gonna take these two bikes with us. As you can see on the Pluno, there's a rear rack so we can fit a little bottle of champagne and maybe a small packed lunch and have a picnic, that kind of thing. So I'm really looking forward to using these this year and next year and the year after because I know that they're good bikes. I've seen it myself. So till next time, take care of your health, start getting out there, do some exercise, get a couple of these bikes for you and your missus. Stay safe behind bars, these bars. I'll see you in the next video. It's been a while since we felt the way we did back when we were dumb and younger. It's been a while since I looked into your eyes and saw starlight, bold, bright colors. Yeah, when I'm down, when I'm dry, no one else. My love, my love, I would you over and over. I would you. the 
the real thing The novel before the film All the nuance, every letter And you do things to me Like they have never been done A lot like us could last forever And never when I'm down me up When I'm dry No one else No one My love I would choose you We'll be right back. 